Hey y'all, Data Guy here. And today I have a really exciting video for you on how you can get started running a local version of Airbyte on your local machine using ABCTL. So ABCTL is a tool for installing and then running a local version of Airbyte so you can develop locally and completely independently. So what I'm gonna do today is walk you through exactly what that process looks like, how you can set up and install a local development version of Airbyte. And if you wanna follow along, head over to the Airbyte website, follow along on this Airbyte quick start. But without further ado, let's get into it. So if you're on a Mac like me, the first thing you're gonna to need to do is copy the top commands from the Airbyte quick start page, which are brew tap airbyte hq slash tap and brew install abctl. And this will download and then install the abctl utility. Um, so I'm gonna run these and it's going to uh, quickly download all the necessary packages and also tell me that I've already installed it and I'm up to date. Um, and that's all the installation process you actually need to do. Uh, so the next step to start running Airbyte locally on your own machine is just type in the command abctl local install. And what this will do is, is start provisioning a Airbyte application running on your machine on localhost 8000. So this is gonna take a couple seconds to spin up. So I'm gonna pause the video and I'll come back once it's done provisioning and show you how to access your interface. So once you see all these happy success symbols, then you can open up your web browser and navigate to localhost 8000 to open up your user interface. So once you open up this setup page, you'll be prompted to enter an email address and an organization, and then choose whether or not you want to anonymize your data usage collection. And boom, now you can open up the uh, Airbyte CTL just as it would look in a cloud interface. But instead, it's running on your local machine using Docker. So now acquainting ourselves with the UI here, so here we can go to create a connection to any kind of data source. So this is a location that you want to be extracting data out of. Um, so things like API endpoints, uh, databases, um, or you know like an object storage environment, like an S3 bucket. Um, and you also have the option to build your own source. So if you ha have a source that isn't actually uh, supported by Airbyte, you have the option to build your own, either by importing a YAML uh, manifest or by just starting from scratch and building the logic yourself. Now, aside from sources, locations you're pulling data from, you also have destinations. So these are typically going to be, you know, places you're storing data. Uh, so this could be anything from a Google Sheets to a local JSON file uh, to, you know, things like Snowflake databases or really any type of database that you might be using to store your data. Um, and you really you know, have a lot of flexibility, a lot of free out of the box uh, supported connectors, as well as the ability again to build your own connector if you so need to. Now, let's actually try creating our first connection for syncing data from a source to a destination with this local environment. So the first thing we're gonna do to create our connection is at create a source. And luckily, Airbyte provides a nice little faker sample data source uh, that you can use easily just to pull some data and you don't actually have to set up a you know, real data source if you're just trying to test some things around like I am today. And really all this connector is doing is just generating some sample data using the uh, Python Mimesis uh, package. So we'll just call this fake data and then select setup source and this will test the source. Um, and then once it's done testing, let us know that it is available to be used to pull data from uh, to that then sync into our eventual destination. So once it's done setting up that source, it'll automatically bring you into our next page, which is setting up a new destination. And so here we can choose a variety of different destinations. And so for this, I'm going to use a Google Sheets just to, you know, easy way to quickly visualize uh, it showing up in my Google account. And luckily you have the option to sign in with Google here as well. So you don't actually need to necessarily go through your entire setup process. So I'm gonna go do this Google Auth uh, on a separate screen, sign into Airbyte, allow it to access my Google Drive and my Google Spreadsheets. Um, and then press continue. And you can see now I can enter a spreadsheet link to now add a spreadsheet as the destination. So once you have the link to your spreadsheet you want to use as your destination, enter it in here and then hit set up destination. So once your connection has been tested successfully, you're, it will now uh, go to this process where it's going to fetch the schema of your data source uh, and just align the two different data sources so that we can configure a successful sync uh, after so making sure that, you know, hey, the data can flow from fake data into Google Sheets, and then we can define, hey, 
where that data from fake data is gonna go in my Google Sheet. Uh, so useful process here. And I'm just gonna leave the defaults, it comes up to me since I'm just uh, importing this into a blank Google Sheet, hit next, um, and then we can do is just to choose a name for our connection. So I'm just gonna have first sync, just so I always have this for posterity. Choose your replication frequency, which is how often you want this to sync data from that source to our destination. Uh, you can also choose if you want it to even be scheduled at all. You can also have manual, uh, where you it will only sync upon manual trigger, or you can use cron uh, expressions for more complex time uh, expressions. Then here you can also choose to you know choose custom format to a unique schema. I'm just going to use the default destination defined, but you can choose what kind of schema uh, you want to use, whether it's from the source or the destination, or if you want to create a totally new schema if you're syncing from let's say like multiple sources at once. So now we're all ready to hit this finish and sync button and create our new connection. So here just hit finish and sync and then boom. Now our first sync will start and we are well on our way to syncing data with Airbyte. Uh, so really hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you now have a good idea of how you can set up and use the ABCTL on your own machine to start doing some data syncing. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video. Have a great rest of your day. Data guy out.